Ram is the newest operator in Rainbow Six and she's so broken. And I'm gonna show you guys why you're using her wrong. My name is Foxe and I've been a professional R6 player for about eight years, so you're in good hands. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to use RAM like the pros do. So let's jump right into it. So RAM has a very strong loadout, very strong kit. You got either the R4C or the Zofia LMG. Everyone's gonna go with obviously the favorite, the R4C, but this isn't just a regular R4C. She actually has the 1.5 and the 2X that you can run. Now, for those of you who don't know, the 1.5, you ask anybody, it's arguably the best scope in the game. Everybody loves it. It's good for close range, good for far range. It's good for everything. It's got a good magazine count. I think it carries around 30 bullets. Uh, so it's probably like one of the best all around guns. And Ash ha also has it, but she doesn't have the 1.5. So. On RAM, you can really use this gun to its full potential. Now the Zofia LMG, it wasn't too bad a couple seasons ago, but now it's just the recoil is a little hard to use. It has a lot of bullets, but the downside is the recoil. So for practically about you know the same damage, only two more points of damage with the LMG, you're gonna run a, wanna run the R4C no matter what. As for her secondary, obvious choice is the ITA, right? This is Mira shotgun, secondary shotgun. Not only is it great for rotates, making holes up and down through the floor, it's just good all around, right? It's better than the pistol because most of the time if you're taking your secondary out, usually the person you're fighting is low on HP, you know, you guys don't have bullets in your primary mag, so the shotgun is going to be great to just finish a kill out, but it's also amazing for, like I said, those distanced walls that you need to open or make a rotate through that your drone can't get through. And I'm also gonna show you guys a nice little trick that you can do with the buggy drone that you can also use with the shotgun. Finally, her gadgets. She did have hard breach charges on the first day of TTS, I know, but she was too strong with those, so Ubisoft decided to change her, uh, her secondary gadgets to either flashbangs or smokes. Honestly, this is all about preference. If you want to use one or the other, go for it. I do think that the flashbangs will probably be more of a priority on an op like ramp just for the versatility. She is slow, so using those flashes to clear that distance between you know the enemy that you're fighting or maybe get you into a position where you can throw a flash and then put a drone down, the flashes are just going to be better. But again, her drone is very loud. You guys are going to see her drone is extremely loud, so there is some potential to bring the smokes and do some sneaking plants. You know, you throw the drone down, covers the sound, smoke, and you plant in the smoke. But we'll see. I mean, that's all, that's all preference. I do think that the flashes are going to be your go-to here. Now it's time for the most broken part of RAM, and that's her buggy drone or bug eye drone. You know, my, my teammates and I were just going to call it the bug drone to keep it simple, but I'm going to show you guys some things that you can do with her and why she's so good, how to use her drone properly. First off, her drones are destructible against pretty much everything. She can go through soft walls, break up the floor, obviously. She can break Malusis, lesions, go through Aruni gates, go through castle barricades, break regular barricades, break maestros, anything that's on the floor in distance of her, she can pretty much break. And, oh, she can also go through deployable shields. So she can pretty much tank everything. And the only way that you can completely get rid of the drone is one, either wasting an impact or a C4 on it, right? Only explosives can blow it up. Or on the back side of her bug drone, uh, you're going to see a red canister, the same canister that they have on mirror windows. And if you're able to get an angle onto it, you can shoot it to be able to destroy the drone completely. But I promise you, it's rarely going to happen. It's really hard to shoot it, especially if the drone's pushing on coming to you. Unless you get a really lucky shot from below and you can just see it going over you, but then you're risking playing under the holes that it makes. You know, it's going to be worth to use an impact for it, especially a C4. You might want to save it, but her drone's practically indestructible and it's so good. Also, Butte Jammers, Electro Claws, and Bandits, and Pests don't affect the Bug Eye Drone at all. Of course, if you put your drone on top of a Mute Jammer or in the radius of it, it will not start. But that's almost a one in a million chance. If you put the drone just a little couple inches back and start it, the Mew Jammer will not stop the drone. It'll push through Mew Jammers. It'll push through Mozzie Pests. If it goes over an Electro Claw, it will not break. If it touches a wall, it will not break. It's a tank, pretty much. Also, the bug drone is very loud, right? I was saying it before, and it's an extremely loud a drone. It's able to not only destroy things and tear up the floor and walls completely, but it also gives you a nice little bit of cover and distraction if you're trying to make a play off of it. 
So, if you didn't know, with the bug drone, it can go through castles in a Rooney Gate once it's activated, but you can actually use it to break regular barricades and entry with the drone before even setting it off. So I'll show you right here, as you're about to go through the barricade, you can just throw it and walk forward with your drone, right? So that's something that a lot of people will not be expecting, especially entering in from an outside door or entering in through a window. There's a lot of ways that you can use that to surprise the enemy. That being said, after you go through a barricade, like I said, the drone is extremely loud. So you're able to not only mask the sound of your own steps, but also your teammates' footsteps, and you can disorient the enemy teammates or the enemy team in general from either hearing that you're entering off the drone and you're going to keep them on their toes, constantly questioning if you're actually moving behind the drone or if you're using the drone to tear up the floor. So I'm going to show you guys right here, right? Assuming we push through the barricade, right? If we're going to throw it on a hard floor, this is going to be a, a sound warning. So, you know, if you got headphones on, be, be careful. So you can not only push through the barricade, but also push with your drone. And that's going to be extremely hard for any defender to be able to know if you're actually entering in. If there's no cams on you, you know, the sound is just so muffling that as a defender, if you're hiding somewhere or you're hiding in a different room, you're not going to be able to know that there's someone behind that drone. And someone may peek out to shoot the drone and you end up catching them and you trade your drone. So remember that little trick I was telling you about, about why you want to bring the ITA? I'm going to show you guys right here. Right, so everybody knows that a regular drone is just going to make a tiny little crawl hole. It, it, it's it's sufficient. It's easy to get through, and it's just going to make a little hole. Right, no problem with that. You can go through it fairly easily. Right, you know. Here's the thing with these drones that you're going to want to be able to abuse is making standing holes while using your ITA. So all it's going to take is one high hole. Right as high as you can and then you can throw your drone however you want bounce it onto the wall you know and then once it's up there that makes a way bigger hole so you can already see the difference in the size of the rotate your monty can walk through it fully you know you're able to peak the angle standing up as opposed to having to crouch through it it makes things a little bit easier when you're able to push through a walking hole as a three armor you know instead of getting stuck under a crouch hole right if you're an enemy it's a lot easier to hold this little crouch hole knowing somebody's going to be going slow through it as opposed to a standing hole that gives you a lot more mobility so that's a nice little area that you can use that drone to be able to you know maximize the destruction and finally the shotgun is also very good for some of the maps where once you've destroyed the floor there's another soft wall or soft ceiling that you can destroy through the floor the ita is going to give you a little bit of that extra range so we're just going to tear up the floor right here real quick and we see that once you've destroyed the floor the the bug drone doesn't really reach the next wall above so that's why you're going to want to make sure you have that ita and you can make some holes from above and now you're able to create new sight lines like Buck while also being able to maximize the amount of floor destruction, right? The drone tears everything up like the Buck shotgun, like Sledgehammer. But now you also have that distance with your own shotgun. Even though it's not as fast as Buck, you can still create the same vertical angles, different angles with the shotgun while also destroying more floor than Buck and Sledge ever could. So the buggy drone, the shotgun is a perfect combo and you're going to want to be using it on RAM. The difference between regular barricades and castle barricades is castle barricades don't instantly destroy once you throw your drone at it. But there's a cool little trick that you can do if you're repelling on a window that is castled. You can throw the drone onto the windowsill, get ready and primed to jump in the window and you can jump in and destroy the castle barricade extremely fast as you're jumping through the window to be able to get a very fast entry and also again catch everyone off guard because they can't hear you going through the castle. They don't know if the castle was just broken and there's someone in or if it was just broken just to be broken and you have a very fast moment of opportunity where you can make something happen off of that drone. And now finally, there's a lot of places, there's a lot of great destructible floors, a lot of maps where you can completely utilize the bug eye drone everywhere, all over the place, right? But everyone's going to be expecting you to be using it from the top down. 
and here's a nice little area that you can keep an eye out for other maps if there's other places that you can potentially use it but this is a spot on Oregon kitchen where you can actually use the drone to destroy the floor above so I'm going to show you guys right here you're just going to want to come alongside to these pots and pans over here either shoot them or punch them off you know So even though these might not be the best holes, it does give you a little bit of variation on how you want to use it to tear up the floor. Here's an idea of a strat you could run with RAM on Oregon. So I'm going to show you guys, see on the bottom right of your screen here, you can see that you can turn the directions of the bug eye drone as well, right? You can see it. It'll show you once the drone is placed too, you can make it go straight, curve to the left, curve to the right. So here's an idea of a strat that you can do either alone. It might be a little hard alone or with a teammate is you get ready, right? You want to put your curved drone onto the far right corner you want it to make it turn right and as you're about to jump in through a closed big window assuming the bomb site is dorms and uh, games and dorms up top you're going to throw the drone through the window turn it on jump in plant i'm going to show you guys where plant on the bunk right in front of you the drone is going to hit the floor and turn and then you're going to want to jump out or you can have a teammate go down to the freezer basement and i'm going to show you guys the angle that he's going to be able to see so at right as you're about to jump in you're ready to go just throw the drone on the window, and turn it on. You got a free plant, and then your teammate or yourself from below, you got a free sight line, everything onto the bomb. And while you're planting, while the drone's curving, it's doing no damage to you whatsoever. You're able to get a plant down for free, and you're also able to get some free kills from below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I've taught you some nice tips and tricks on RAM that you can use in your games and rank up. I appreciate all the love and support. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. I love the feedback. Any advice you guys have, let me know. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it.